Hey, welcome back to our channel. Hey. hey. We are doing something. Oh, you go ahead. Yeah, we're excited about this. Yes. We're doing something special. Stigma. Because we've done Stigma Live, but we didn't do the lyrics then because it didn't have the lyrics in that video. Yeah. And a lot of you said, please do the lyrics because they are so meaningful. And apparently they are very meaningful to the LGBT community as well. And since we're part of that, we wanted to do this video for a long time. So I think it's right about time that we dive into the lyrics of Stigma and try to see what it means to us. Yeah. Right? Here we go. Hey, I'm Dennis. I'm Tim. I'm Dutch. I'm German. And that is what you get here on our channel, Dutch German Down to Earth Reactions. If you like that, then please hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on our videos. And hit that little bell notification as well. And set it to all so you don't miss. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Stigma, we love the song, loved it live. But now we just want we to see v. what, and we love V, it's my bias. See what the song is about and see what it, if we could relate to it and see if it to us feels like an anthem or a song or a written for the LGBT community, you never know, mm -hmm. or, or for anybody. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always excited to hear a song by V, so. Mm. It's a little treat. Not that little ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so because our frame of reference is already the LGBT underlining of the song, mm -hmm. we I can't say yet if I think it is or not, because we'll say that at the end when we've seen the whole lyric. Yeah, I can't say that. Either. But for me, when I'm when I have that frame of reference and that first part of the song, I have something to tell you that I can't withstand anymore. Mm -hmm. That really is, that really rings a bell for me, right? The urge. The urge of thank you. <laughs> the urge of of knowing that you are, um, part of of that you have something inside you that you haven't shared with people before. That really. Uh, hits back to my coming out mm. because I was struggling with that quite a lot although ev even though people already knew <laughs> that I was gay yeah, but, it doesn't matter. but for it's me it was a struggle own... of accepting who I, I who I was it's your own process yeah and and it still feels like it shouldn't feel like that but it still feels like you're different mm. it shouldn't feel like that because it's not different it's just a, a different sexual orientation but it's not different from the norm i think it should it's not a be. variety it's a variety exactly i think what a lot of people say uh, of, not a lot of what i read somewhere which really hit for me uh their uh um heterosexuality is not the norm there are just more people out there that are heterosexual mm -hmm. but it's not the norm so anyway that's that's a whole discussion for another which makes time. sense of course because otherwise it would be hard to uh Make uh, get new babies. Yeah, yeah, no, sure, sure, sure. Um, I wanted to send it like in a, in a nicer way, but I couldn't come up with words. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this first part, like I have something to say that I can't withstand anymore, can't hold back. So it's when you have those feelings inside, you have that you some at, at one point you need to tell at least somebody. Hmm. You need to say it out loud because it's so there. You hide something from yourself. It's such you're... a huge part of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on and pause again. I think for me now, if if this is if we conclude at the end that this is an LGBT song, then V is saying to because he sings the song to everybody out there, 
cry, please, I'm here for you. You mm. can be whoever you want to be. Yeah. And I think that is the, the BTS message, not just V's message, but it's the whole message as BTS says. Yeah. Everybody is welcome in their army and just cry on our shoulder. We're here for you. And I, in this, la this last sentence, deeper and deeper, the wound just gets deeper. Mm. If you don't share it, that is exactly what happens, right? Yeah. The wound will get deeper. It will like fester away in yourself. It will, yeah. It will change you and make you more unhappy. I yeah, think. it will. If you have to hide that and part you of yourself. 100% accept and enjoy yeah. life yeah. as it is. And let me say, if you are living in a country or in a group of with a group of people that community a, a community that is not accept, accept uh, accepting of um, LGBT people because that's still unfortunately true in some parts of the world some countries some, some I communities still actually a lot of, actually yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. then at least find somebody online or wherever where you can be yourself with and that is also what we feel our responsibility here for our stuffer family right everybody is welcome everybody and yeah we are also here to talk to you guys about it right if if you feel like you want to talk we are here you can just send us a message on instagram or send us an email and we'll talk to you because and we will yeah like everybody here on the stuffer family should be accepting of that yeah. of who everybody who anybody wants to be it doesn't matter if, if it's about sexuality or if it's about anything else and and find somebody it could be us it could be anybody else of course a, a friend an online friend where you feel safe with i think yeah. that is important and that is this song about as well i think Also, very important lyric, I think. Because of what we talked about in some countries, it's still even illegal, mm -hmm. or or at least it was illegal until recent. It was actually, when I was reading this, Punish My Crime was like, what does it actually mean? Is it like literally that it can be a crime? In some countries, some it countries? still was. Or is it just like, is it his crime that he not he did not tell, or did not tell earlier? I think it goes both ways. That he do, did yeah. that to himself. But some people will feel like they they are committing a crime for having those uh, uh, um, feelings, mm. those LGBT feelings. And then it and comes it on top like of everything crime. else and you have always the struggle of like everything I am and everything I do is Big illegal crime. and it's yeah. not... Or it should not you be there. You should shove it away uh, and yeah. it's not... Uh, it's, yeah. yeah. It's not natural or whatever. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. So you never feel that way. You are who you are. And just find somebody out there, not maybe not in your own community or your own country, but somebody out there online. The world is very small now, thanks to online social media. Mm. So find somebody you can you can trust. I love this interlude part, like that. It is also, it also feels like the punishment of my crime is for not accepting you who you are. Mm. I also read that in the lyrics right now. That's just like yeah. some, somebody saying, I'm sorry for or not l for telling you to be this or that, because that's what's in the lyrics right now, mm -hmm. like a little bit ago. Like, I'm sorry for telling you who to be. And there is still a lot of people that unconsciously do that. Like, like 
family members or something saying like, oh, when are you going to get married? Or when are you going to come home with a mm. girlfriend? Nah, might not be a girlfriend. Might just be some, yeah. something. And then the other person is also really depends on how, who you are and who your personality is. If you How acceptable you are for those things. Mm. You, like If you yeah. change quickly and uh, try to to fit in or or you're like more like a rebel and always uh, reject everything mm -hmm. or yeah. something in between yeah yeah are you calling me a sinner love those little low voices Of course, this, this song could be about many other things. But at least it is a song about somebody telling the other, I'm sorry for pushing you into that corner or be yeah. wanting you to be that way. Well, it can be anything else. It doesn't have to be <coughs> LGBT related. No, it could it, be anything yeah. else you, you, you're hiding or you're ashamed of or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But I... I totally feel that LGBT people that this song is very powerful to them and very meaningful to was them. Was there ever any comment on that? If that is true or that it could be I interpreted that, like that? Or... Oh, that is interesting. If you know that, if you have that information, did one of the BTS members or V himself confirm that this is a song by them or by V uh, telling everybody out there uh, be who you are, I'm sorry if I gave you a feeling that or... or, or... Let us know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because we would love to know that. But and we love the song. Yeah. The song is amazing. I do miss his lower voice, uh, lower register uh, in this. I, I, mm. I remember saying that during the live performance as well. It's I really love high. his high notes. I love it. It was perfect. But I, when he did those little sentences in between with the low register, I love it. <laughs> anyway. So, um, let us know. If you want to let us know anything about this, about your own experience with this song, please let it uh, down in the comment section. And like we said, and we mean this, if you are struggling with anything or in, in sexuality related or anything else related and you want a just somebody to listen to you, mm -hmm. then send us a message or find somebody out there that can be that ear for you. Because I think it is important that you don't keep it inside. Like they said, it is a wound mm -hmm. that it will yeah, just be there and it, it will, will eat you up. It will eat you up. Yeah. And so, that's not nice. No, exactly. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you liked our analysis of it and our, um, yeah. yeah. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.